Good happy Sunday evening. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up on heels of FBI announcement, Clinton to campaign in Manchester. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News. More than a century, St. Mary's Bank has been putting New Hampshire families first. As the nation's first credit union, our values haven't changed, but the times have. From mortgages and auto loans to mobile banking solutions, we deliver all the services and technologies you need for the way you live today. We work for the individuals, families, and businesses that make up our membership, not some distant stockholders. We always have and we always will. Bank with the nation's first credit union, St. Mary's Bank. Yeah, Josh, a big sigh of relief from the Democrats out here regarding that announcement from uh, FBI Director James Comey. Of course, we don't know whether that will come up actually in the rally itself, but it's safe to say this was probably the best outcome the Clinton campaign could have been hoping for, given uh, what had happened with here just with the last couple weeks to go. But make no mistake, the fact that this is happening at all probably has a lot to do with the fact that that FBI uh, announcement with a reopen the investigation you know, last week or so into those emails. Uh, and certainly we had heard uh, back when Hillary Clinton was here at St. Anselm on October 24th, <coughs> that uh, CNN was reporting that was it. That was her final rally here in New Hampshire. And, and they were going to be moving on to states where margins were closer in the polls between her and Mr. Trump. And now it's New Hampshire that's more competitive, and both campaigns are obviously bombarding the state with attention. Uh, tonight here, though, we're going to have an enormous crowd. They're already lined up around the block here at the Radisson. And joining Hillary Clinton will be some star power. She's got folk artist James Taylor and also Kaiser Khan, the gold star father who gave that uh, speech that is probably one of the most consequential convention speeches in some time, giving that speech at the Democratic National Convention, uh, taking on Donald Trump over his comments about Muslims. Uh, Mr. Trump will be trying to draw a perhaps an even larger crowd tomorrow at the SNHU Arena just down the street from us here. Okay, and there you go on that report. VP candidate Mike Pence in New Hampshire to urge supporters to get out vote Tuesday. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9. Thank you, Adam. This event here at the Derry Windham Trump Pence office is being billed as a get out the vote rally. You can see behind me there's some action from volunteers already making calls. It'll still be several more hours, though, before Governor Pence arrives here in New Hampshire. That's because he just wrapped up a campaign event in North Carolina where he was speaking earlier today. We want to show you, though, a live look here at the uh, campaign headquarters here in Windham where people are on the phones getting out their message to voters as we lead into these final hours before for election day. Now we heard them being instructed on the phone as uh, the calls they're making out to those voters. It's just one of many stops the Republican vice presidential nominee is making in these final hours. And this is his final scheduled stop of the night. Campaign officials here telling us they really have no idea at this time just how many people will turn out. But we did see a steady stream of people downstairs, volunteers waiting to come in to see Governor Pence speak tonight. And as Adam mentioned, he will be back here in the Grand Estate just tomorrow night with Donald Trump for that rally in Manchester. We'll, of course, have more coverage on Pence's words tonight coming up later on on WMUR. We'll send it back to you, Josh, though, in the studio. Okay, and there you go on that report. FBI says review of new emails don't change conclusion. Clinton should be, shouldn't be charged. Let's Take a listen to the video from ABC News. And found a place to service it, too. Now, when you're ready, you can sell your old car and find your new one, all on Cars.com. You know us for shopping, and now we're there for every turn. Cars.com. Good evening, and we are all here tonight because we are just two days away now from this country electing a new president. Every turn in this campaign, impossible to predict. And tonight, a new one. 
With just 48 hours to go, the FBI's announcement, the director clearing Hillary Clinton on those new emails. Trump's team saying the FBI director mishandled this investigation and that this proves it yet again. What Trump himself said when he got to the bottom of those stairs. Clinton, a short time later, on stage in Cleveland with LeBron James, who told the crowd their vote matters, especially in the battleground of Ohio. ABC's senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas on the FBI's conclusion coming in late today. And just like that, it's over. Tonight, after stunning the nation nine days ago by reviving the investigation into Hillary Clinton's private email server and even admitting he wasn't sure whether the material was significant or not, FBI Director James Comey told Congress today that based on our review, we have not changed our conclusions that we expressed in July. Back then, Comey called Clinton's handling of sensitive emails extremely careless, but said, No charges are appropriate in this case. Sources telling ABC News tonight, that the new batch of emails contained duplicates the FBI had already reviewed and did not contain new information that altered their initial findings. Agents were aided by computer programs that sorted through thousands of emails found on a laptop shared by Clinton's top aide, Huma Abedin, and disgraced ex-Congressman Anthony Weiner, who's being investigated for an alleged underage sexting scandal, a couple now separated. It's like having a nightmare. And Pierre Thomas with us tonight. And Pierre, so many doubted that this team at the FBI could get through so many emails so quickly, but it turns out many of them were duplicates, had already been reviewed. Yes, David, this was a real long shot. The FBI director was under tremendous pressure. But after they got through all those emails, he felt an obligation to tell the public that nothing new was found. All right, two days to go. Pierre Thomas, thank you. Okay, and there you go on that report. Exclusive CNN reporter trapped in deadly ISIS attack. Let's take a listen to this video from CNN. After three weeks of this offensive, the Iraqi military is at last about to enter Mosul. The men of the elite counterterrorism force in Salahuddin Regiment are in high spirits. But after the open plains of northern Iraq, they're about to meet a terrible new reality. This is not a place these soldiers know, but their enemy does. The challenge they're facing right now is that there's snipers on rooftops and they're receiving incoming mortar fire that ISIS is shooting from areas that have civilians in them, which makes it almost impossible for the counterterrorism units to be able to fire back. slows down and on then the roads give way to muddy alleys there's nowhere to turn it's so claustrophobic and every car here every garbage can <laughs> then a car approaches frantic shouted warnings <laughs> clearly he's not a bomber but he's critically injured. Now they're rocket propelled grenades and of course those uh, car bombs. Even in the midst of battle, moments of humanity, but they are all too fleeting. Just, uh, I look, uh... Then a suicide car bomb oh. right behind us. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. There was a flash of orange. It was a suicide car bomb. And then yeah, it exploded on the vehicles that are just behind us. There are a number of soldiers just running in the street. One was carrying his buddy who seemed to be wounded. <laughs> But every time you try, gunfire. 
Where is he, Shia? Oh, one of the bo combat zone. He's with me. He's with me. These men will have to return. The battle for Mosul has only just begun. Arwa Damon, CNN, Mosul, Iraq. Okay, and that does it for the Riley King newscast to right here on the Riley King Network. Have a great rest of your Sunday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.